Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you've been around for a while, I've obviously been absent for quite some time. I don't think I've picked up my camera in like three to four months. So yeah, but if you're new here, my name is Jaden. I have a toddler, she's two and a half. Her name is Mavery. Um, we're a military family, my husband is in the Air Force. And I am 29 weeks pregnant as of today. So last week we hit the third trimester. So today's video is going to be like a 29 week update and kind of talk about how my second trimester was. And I'm not really gonna talk about like what's been going on in my life in this video or whatever. I just want this to be about, like I said, um, just like a pregnancy update and then Eventually, I hope to film a vlog where I can kind of talk about what has been happening with myself and my family. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just been obviously busy over here. If you've been pregnant with a toddler, you know it's wild. But like I said, I'm 29 weeks as of today. My due date is April 17th. So let's see if I can show you the bump. Um, so here he is. So I'm having a boy. I don't I think I mentioned that, but I'm having a boy. I already have a girl, so one of each. Um his name, if you didn't see his name reveal, will be Maxton Jacob, except if I have him on April 7th, then my husband gets to name him. So basically I'm not gonna do anything until like April 8th that would make him <laughs> come out because I like my name. Like Maxton and Mavery. But um so yeah, let's talk about how my second trimester was. I think my first trimester, I think I did a video about that, but I actually like got sick with this baby. Like I was nauseous, um, there was stuff I couldn't eat, and that like was not the case with my first pregnancy with my daughter. She was very simple. Um, but my si second trimester, so once I hit like 14 weeks, things actually got way better thank the lord and so the second trimester was pretty pretty smooth honestly um i started out this pregnancy at like 128 pounds and i believe now i'm around like 157 so my last doctor appointment was like two or three weeks ago and um he actually was like oh my gosh like you're gaining way too much weight like but I went, I only, I gained like 10 pounds or like 10 to 15 pounds I think I gained in like a month. And he was like, I don't know. He wanted me to like keep a food diary and <laughs> talk to like a nutritionist and all this stuff. And I just wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't comfortable, wasn't vibing. So, and I do plan to have another natural birth. And so I obviously want to be feeling comfortable with my doctor. And so I switched um, doctors, and so I haven't met my new doctor yet. I will meet her at my next appointment in like two weeks. So hopefully I like her and we get along better and she's not just like focused on like my weight. Like my last doctor was like asking me what kind of cereal I ate and like, he's like the sugary kind. I'm like, what other kind of cereal is there besides the sugary kind? Of course I'm eating the sugary kind. But yeah, so I did switch doctors, but so my second trimester, um, obviously sleeping was like non-existent. Um, your boobs definitely, definitely change. Like they are very sore, um, a lot. I'm just really uncomfortable and like that started probably around like, it started way quicker this pregnancy than my last pregnancy. Like I started getting uncomfortable probably around like. 23 ish weeks like he just feels very big um and i felt him way sooner but like i actually like felt his kicks from the outside around like 18 weeks and my husband did too which he didn't feel my daughter's until like 24 25 weeks so that was crazy but he just feels way bigger like he's always like chilling like right there um, sleeping, like I said, non-existent. Every single time I turn over, I swear that I wake up. So that's been rough. Um, 
I obviously have to pee every like five minutes like if you have a boy he sits very low and so yeah have to pee like every five minutes that's another thing but it's just gonna keep getting worse now that I'm in my third trimester um I wasn't very I don't know I don't know I feel like honestly my third trimester like I'm like I napped a lot more in my second trimester than I am now but obviously I'm only like a week into my third trimester so I don't like know if that will continue but I've actually been like more productive than I was in my second trimester but once again that could change in a couple of weeks but um what else so I would get like a leg pain which I didn't know if it was like normal because a lot of people didn't really I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about it but I think it was like on my right like foot like I just got like this sharp pain so that was a symptom that I would get um what else I just did my glucose test and I passed like everything looked good except for I did have a like I'm anemic which I figured because I was with my daughter too and like I even mentioned that to them and so um like I think like probably like three or four weeks ago like sometimes I'll just get like these and like, hot flashes and I feel like I'm gonna like pass out or like this one time I was like driving home and like my arms just went numb and like I was like just like seeing stars and so like stuff like that which I don't really remember happening with my daughter the only like abnormal thing with Mavery was I got headaches super bad in my like around like 34 weeks like I had to go to like the ER like they were just so bad so this little man is definitely um different I love him but he, he's a way more painful already and um I don't know like I said he just feels so big it's so uncomfortable like I'm already like I feel like I'm as big now as I was at the end with Mabry and a lot of people are like oh my gosh like you don't even look like you're five weeks pregnant I'm like are you kidding me that's because I wear oversized sweaters like I am so like it just drives me crazy because I'm like I feel so big and then these people are like you look so small I'm like yeah okay I don't feel that way and then um I have I've had like spotting a couple of times also this pregnancy and I've had a lot more discharge I don't know if that's TMI I don't I don't think so because if you're here you're here for a pregnancy update and that's part of pregnancy so yeah get ready for that <laughs> but um like obviously the spotting like is very normal like I've asked doctors like whatever and it's normal you just have to make sure it doesn't like go longer than like a day or it's not like heavy or whatever and I mean it is like scary like because when you see it and you're just like what the heck is this you know and you just like your first instinct is like freak out but I guess it's normal um I've also had Braxton Hicks with this little man and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I think it's like stop me in my tracks. Or like when he kicks me very hard down below. Like that whole like, I don't remember what it's called. Like lightning something. But um, I've had that. Like it, it hurts. I've had like, just like the cramping. Which I feel like is also sometimes the Braxton Hicks. And so, yeah, I don't know if it's your second baby or a boy, but been different and it's been it hasn't been hard because I'm still very like blessed you know with a healthy um, pregnancy like the stuff is normal the only thing that really stinks I would say is with my daughter I like walked a whole bunch that's why I exercised like a lot like I was moving more like gosh I think I need a nap now my daughter's napping now but um it's like freezing outside like it was like 20 degrees and it's the end of January and like I haven't like I haven't walked you know like because I'm like it's a winter pregnancy like gonna be for the most part and so I haven't hardly exercised at all and I've been so busy and so I am looking forward to like March time I'll be around like 
34 weeks or whatever and then I can start kind of light walking because I feel like that will help with some discomfort and whatnot but yeah I think for the most part that's about all I've got I just kind of want to start these um weekly like updates or whatever so hopefully I can get my 30 week one up next Saturday in case anything um like unusual happens look at this oh my gosh I guess I am tired I like wasn't gonna nap because I've been like reading this really good book but maybe I need to <laughs> um also I will say this week I have not been as hungry that's another um 29 week thing like I like even my friend she is like um do a day before me and she was saying how with this trimester so far she feels like she's like less hungry and I was like no way like I'm still gonna eat so much but now I'm like oh my goodness like I don't feel as hungry which is bizarre and so yeah I'm not like craving a bunch of snacks or unhealthy food or like food like I'm I'm fine so I don't know if I guess we'll see next week if that's how it is for this next week or if it was just I don't know just because but I guess we'll see so I'm going to end this video here because it's already 12 minutes and I wanted to keep it short and simple hopefully like the rest of these videos will just be like 10 minutes and under just short little updates so yeah I'm glad to be back I'm hoping to pick this back up and make it more of a priority but also I have to take care of myself and my family and we have lots going on right now and so yeah that's all I got hopefully I will see you guys again soon sooner than three months because if that's the case the next video I will be holding a newborn <laughs> which is crazy I have like two and a half months left but no I will hope to be back next Saturday if not before I really want to do more vlogs with my um, daughter because I feel like she hasn't made an appearance on here in so long. She's getting so big. She's in gymnastics. We're signing her up for soccer. She says like everything now. Um, she's fearless. So yeah, definitely want to get her in some vlogs and videos and she's potty trained now. And so I want, that's the video I have wrote down that I want to film kind of how we got there she um turns three in august and so she's only like two and a half and she's fully potty trained like doesn't wear like she wears underwear nap time bedtime everything so i want to talk more about that but yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video then thank you for watching do not forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button if you would like to continue this wild and awkward journey with me and my fam.